In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start a new project in Reaper. Now the first thing we're gonna do when we open up Reaper is make sure we have audio to our speakers. So go up here and choose audio device settings. Then we'll choose over here on the audio device where our speakers are plugged into. For me, it's right down here on my computer audio interface. For you, it might be the built-in output of your computer or laptop. Either way, make sure you choose this and make sure this audio go into your speakers. And now we're gonna start a new project. We'll go up over here to the file menu and choose new project. We could also do it on the toolbar. Right here, the first button, just click it, and that creates a new project. And as you can tell, it doesn't really look that different. We can't see what just happened. So if we wanna save it and name it, every time we create a new project, we should go to our preferences. Under options, preferences, and scroll down to project. And right over here, we can choose prompt to save on new project. And if we choose this and create a new project, new project, it's gonna open up a save dialog each time. So let's give it a name. We'll call it new song and save it. So now if we go to our hard drive, which is the Explorer on PC or the Finder on Mac, we can see our file right here, new song. But there's one problem with this. If we start creating audio files, it can get messy very quickly. Let me show you. Let's create a new track by double clicking over here, put it into record, and let's start recording. Make another piece over here and over here. And if we go back to a hard drive, here's that Reaper file, but here's the audio files. And as you can see, it does get messy very quickly. So if you want to organize this a lot better, let's do it a bit differently. Let's delete all this. And let's close this project, and this time, we'll choose new project, give it a name, but go down here to these checkboxes, create subdirectory for project, and copy all media into project directory. This one's already necessary if you've already recorded some audio, and you wanna make sure you save it into that folder. But it's good practice to choose them both. So now if we save this, it's not gonna just create a file. It's gonna create a folder with that file in it. Let's go to our hard drive. Now it looks like this. It's just a folder. Open it up. And now that file is in that folder, which would be a lot neater when we record some audio. Let's do that. Make a new track, put it into record. Now to record this, let's use a keyboard shortcut on PC it's Control R, and on Mac, it's Command R. Just hit it to go into record, hit spacebar to stop. And we'll do it a few times. Now we'll go back to our hard drive, and here's that folder. But if we open it up, here's our project file and the audio files in it. So that's a bit neater but we can get this even more organized. We could put the media in its own folder. So let's clear all this. So let's go back to our preferences. And on the project, we could also choose this option to open up the properties or the project settings on new project. So now if we create a new project, Give it a name. It's already set up to create those folders, but if we save it, 
it's going to automatically open up our project settings. This is where we set up the different settings for each project, like the sample rate, the tempo, the time signature, and anything else we want. We're going to focus on this tab right here, media. Right over here, we can create a subfolder for our media or the audio. I'm going to name it audio or media. If we hit OK, and now we create some audio, go into record, record a few pieces. And now if we go to the hard drive, here's our folder for our project. If we open it up, here's our file, and here's a folder just for the media or the audio. So if we open it up, all the audio is in here. The audio files and the waveform files, or the peak files. So it's a lot neater and more organized. But if we want to go even further, we can put the peak files in their own subfolder. So let's delete all this, close this, go to our preferences, and go down here to media. We could choose this option, put new peak files in peaks subfolder. So now if we create a new project, once again, we can name it. It's already set up to create new folders, and it's going to open up with the project settings. Now, of course, we have to name it again, but we could also save it as the default. And all the settings we choose from here and here are going to be those settings on each new project. So now if we create a new track and record some audio, and go to our hard drive, here's our folder, here's our file, and here's the subfolder with the audio. And if we open it up, there's a subfolder for our peaks. So all the audio or media is going to be in the audio folder, and the peaks are in a subfolder within it, keeping the whole thing a lot more organized. So when we save our file or back it up, everything we need is in this folder. With the media in this folder and the peaks in here. And if we're happy with the project settings, we could turn off this option so we don't have to see it each time, because we already saved it as a default. And create a new one, new project, and it'll save it on our hard drive. It won't open up our project settings, but if we record some audio, it's still going to use those project defaults. as we can see right here. Here's the Reaper file, and here's the audio subfolder, with the audio files right here, and the peaks in a subfolder within it. So that's pretty much it. That's how to start a new project in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.